Seven reasons why some men never get second dates. Hi, everybody. My name is Apollonia Ponti. I'm a dating relationship and attraction coach for you men to master your attraction skills, your dating life, and your life overall. And in this video, we're going to talk about this second date thing. I know so many of you are struggling sometimes to get on a second date or actually can get on a second date, but with the ones that you really like, you're not. So I'm going to give you seven reasons of what I've seen with myself, women that I've interviewed, and also two things that we talk about and I see with our clients in regards to doing um, the things that they're doing that's not getting them on a second date. And I want you to really listen to this video and make sure that when you find something that's kind of probably hitting a nerve that you might be doing this. So I'm going to help you now get your third, fourth date. And if you want a relationship or take a woman home, this will be your video. Okay. Number one. So you subconsciously fear that you will get rejected, denied, or hurt. So you hold back your intention and either come off too guarded or like you're just a friend only. So none of your energy has changed because you're really having a denial process within yourself. So you have limiting beliefs. You're holding back your intention because you're probably scared or fearful that you might even be too forward or be too nice. So, and sometimes what we do is we clam up and we just become a friend or we become too guarded on our dates. And remember, women want to show, see that you're attracted to them. And it's about starting off slowly, in which I have so many videos about how to escalate on dates and so much more, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. Number two is you overly communicate or you talk to her as friendly buddy or even a coworker. So what I mean here is like, you have to remember intention is really important sporadically throughout your date, showing intent of the why you're attracted to her and why you're there right? So there can be an example that I always use. You pick up a girl on a date and she tells you that she is hot and she, um, it, it's so hot outside and she comes in your car and she's like, I'm so hot outside. It's just, I can take the shirt off. It's so hot outside. It's like crazy. And you look at her and you're like, Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. It is hot. Let me turn off this AC. Like you didn't do anything different than a friendly buddy would a cousin, a coworker, right? Part of showing intention is finding those moments where you can show interest, seductive interest in a woman or that you're there to date her, right? Instead, a man that shows interest, the woman comes in the car and says, oh my gosh, it's so hot out here. I can just take off my clothes, right? And you put the car in park and you're like, well, I wouldn't mind seeing that. That's the difference between showing intention. Now, a friendly buddy or a coworker, hopefully, um, that's not interested, a cousin or anything like that, wouldn't say that. You want to confirm the reasons why you're there. When a man is grounded in intent, when I was going back into um, number one, you're not scared of rejection or getting denied, but you also have social cues and you have awareness of what you can and cannot say in those moments. And depending on how much of the reciprocation the both of you have built together and how comfortable and if she's open with flirting, you want to start off lightly with showing intent which we actually have in my how to flirt manual and my escalation cheat sheet. I'll download, I'll put those links below so you can check that out next. And I give you the play by play on how to do this. Number three is you have difficulty showing intent and that you are interested in her. Just example, what I gave you in the last tip, I gave you an example, exactly how to show intent. And I actually go a lot deeper into this in my how to flirt manual. So I will definitely be linking that below. Number four is you have limiting beliefs about dating women, yourself, and this holds you back from connecting, from showing up and just being the best self possible. So many of us have limiting beliefs and saying like, no women like me or all women are gold diggers or like there's, it's, there's no more good women out there in this Western world. Like there's so many things. And Unfortunately, what we focus on, we'll get a confirmation bias all the time and we'll be attracting women like that. All, go, all women use me. So if you really believe this, you will attract this because it exists, guys. But also too, what does exist is women that are ready to show up, women that are ready for a relationship. And until you line your thoughts, beliefs, and patterns around that, you will not find women in that category until you stop this dismiss dismissive behavior. Next tip is you aren't able to emotionally connect with her as vulnerability can scare you or you are not comfortable with connection. So many times we go on dates and it becomes a Barbara Walters interview. We're questioning. Um, we are thinking that we need to perform a certain way or we need to um, get her, captivate her interest by questioning her and talking. And if there's this, a dull moment where it's silent, then maybe that she's not interested. And so you put so much pressure on you, but you're not giving the opportunity for a woman to show up. So there's two things here. One, emotional connection is how you can emote in a, um, 
on a date while you're flirting because of the fact that now the woman can get deeper connected to you and she feels a sort of safeness, but also she feels like you can get her. She feels that you are um, also um, in tune with maybe yourself and life and so much more. And especially for high quality women, this is something um, that they would like. High quality women, meaning women that are emotionally available, emotionally showing up, understand the opportunity that a man can offer in a relationship and so much more. So um, one of the things that I want you to do here is if you're having trouble emotionally connecting or anything with that before we get into the last two tips, is I have a first date playbook that will actually help you understand how to go about your first dates. Um, it's a specific product only about um, a first date. I'll link that also to you in the cards here and below. It's called my first date playbook and this was going to help you so much with uh, your dates. Next is number six is you are attracted to unavailable women. Unfortunately, what will happen on your dates is when you go on dates with unavailable women, you notice that maybe they have an avoidant attachment style and you have an anxious attachment style, or maybe you're an avoidant as well and you get more attracted to them because they are avoidant, right? Or your anxious attachment style can creep up and say, oh my gosh, I want this person because she's so beautiful, but yet you're noticing how she shows up and so you chase and then you can't get on a second date because you're showing up possibly as an available man, but dating an unavailable woman. So an unavailable woman will not really be attracted to an available man. doesn't have anything to do with you personally, how you look, how you present yourself in this case. It's just not the right fit for you sometimes. And you have to be careful because these women will come and go in and out because they could be attracted, but they don't want anything serious. So that's why I always tell you guys, test it out, paste it out, assess the process. And lastly is you get overly sexual on the date too fast, too soon. Ooh, how I hear this complaint from women. This is one of the top complaints, guys, I get from women. And it's pretty insane, probably, uh, to a lot of you guys hearing it. But what happens, two things happen here. One is the guy gets overly sexual because he thinks that he has to say something sexual in order for a woman to like him or touch a woman in order to get her to like him and flirt, which is actually opposite. You don't do that. That's actually the last thing you do. You have to be able to connect with a woman and get her from cold, warm, hot. And that doesn't just happen because a man has to do everything. That happens because the both of you are testing each other during the dates. And this is something I walk through um, in so many of my programs, the first date program, the membership program, the RVIP membership, and my how to flirt program. If you are really trying to invest and get better with your dates, I would really encourage you just to sign up for three, but you can start with the first uh, date playbook for sure. Um, and that's one thing that I see that a lot of men do. And then two is they over-sexualize the conversation, right? So what will happen is they think flirting is over-sexualizing conversation. And the woman hasn't even said anything sexual, hasn't really flirted with him, hasn't given him the opening. And she's just so off-putted by this. And she's like, what in the world is going on? So if you want more help and you want to get better at your dates, you want to get your first dates, um, I would encourage you to do a couple things. One, you can choose here and invest in the first date playbook, or you can become part of our membership. Our membership, we actually do mock dates where men can actually get chosen to go on mock dates with complete strangers that are beautiful women. And then the coaches will step in and help you from time to time. If you want to flirt, if you want to escalate, if you want to really get to know who what type of woman is in front of you, if you want to communicate with her better, if you want to emotionally open up and how to have these conversations, we actually do this for you one by one. So if you you want to sign up for the membership, I'll put that below. It's going to be in the description box and I'll put the first date playbook. And also too, if you want to continue being on this channel with me, watching these videos, I welcome you to subscribe and watch this video up next right here below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. And remember you are always loved. Bye for now.